Hey everyone, so it's Monday and you probably already saw I did my squat workout already this morning. So every three weeks, I told you guys before, every three weeks I have an infusion with IVIG medication to control my CIDP. And so every three weeks I do my squat workout earlier. So I do my squat workout before my infusion. That way I can still get the workout in before, um, before I start feeling like crap. So I've got kind of a, re a regiment that I do before my infusion. So I have to take these pre-meds. And so it's, it's sort of, um, these kinds of things are to ward off any of the side effects. So a lot of times people will get headache and fever, um, and sometimes people, this is the acetaminophen um, for the headache and fever, and this is the Benadryl, and this is to help with any sort of uh, allergic reaction. So sometimes when people get infused, they have a really bad allergic reaction to the medicine, and so they'll get a bad rash. Um, they actually go in into anaphylactic anaphylactic shock, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, where your body's immune system just responds um, to whatever it is that it, it finds and you get you start swelling up really bad. You can swell up like in your throat and actually can close your throat so you can't breathe. I had something kind of similar, uh, I guess this was uh, probably a little over a year ago or so. Um, it never got to the point where I couldn't breathe, but it was so funny. My lips like blew up really, really large. And so my mom, my, my wife said that I kind of looked like a big duck because uh, of my lips. I had those Kim Kardashian lips and the whole side of my face, my right side of my face, it all blew up. And so when I told the pharmacist about that, they were really concerned. And so, um, they had me on some oral steroids initially, um, IV steroids, just to kind of ward that off. Uh, but luckily, it turns out that that was a bad lot um, for that particular dose of medication or that particular lot of medication. And so I didn't have to take that oral steroid after that. Um, so I'll show you some of the, um, I'll show you some of me getting poked with the needle. I got really lucky this time, and so my nurse, um, she was a little nervous about doing it on camera because I've been kind of tough for her in the past where she couldn't get me on the first poke. Uh, but yeah, she did a great job this time. So only one poke, and we were successfully in, and not, not much pain on the poke either, so that was really great. And the actual infusion went really well, didn't have any sort of reaction. Um, I'm feeling okay now. I took one more um, dose of Benadryl. Um, so usually my, <clears throat> whenever I have an allergic reaction, usually it's right towards the end of the infusion. And so I try to take the Benadryl early in the morning. And then about four hours later, I take another dose. Um, but it does make me kind of tired, but at least, you know, it's kind of um, <clears throat> safety first, you know, and uh, I don't want to get any sort of reaction like that. So anyway, that's kind of what I do. Um, I have a lot of liquids. I usually hydrate a lot in the morning anyway. Um, I just like to clean out my system and get everything moving. But especially on infusions day, that's really important to stay hydrated. So yeah, so I get injected with a whole bunch of IVIG uh, medication and then I drink a lot too. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to pee like a racehorse. Um, on infusion day, it's pretty crazy. I go back and forth to the bathroom quite a bit. But anyway, everything's successful and I got my workout of this morning. So uh, tomorrow's a rest day and I'll see you guys Wednesday